So it would seem that the pro-abortionist um, liberal Supreme Court rejects the Trump administration's request to reinstate medication abortion restriction. Now, I'm not a supporter of Trump, but I will give credit where credit is due. They do at least oppose abortion, so I'll give them credit. But the leftist liberal Democratic Supreme Court, which has some conservatives on it, is just for the, the, the killing of babies. Read this article. The Supreme Court on Thursday rejected, or Thursday evening rejected, the Trump administration's request to reinstate a rule requiring patients to obtain the first pill required to in, induce a medication abortion uh, at an in person appointment with their doctor. The unsigned order, which temporarily keeps in place the ruling of the lower courts, is the high court's first decision following the death of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, a fierce supporter of abortion rights. Yeah, she died now and sadly in hell now. Siding with abortion rights groups, the Supreme Court declined to lift a nationwide court order that, due to the pandemic, temporarily suspends the Food and Drug Administration's long-standing requirements that Mife, Mife Pistone, Pistone, hope I'm saying that right, the pill the first pill of two used to induce a medication abortion be dispensed by a doctor in person. In its five-page order, the High Court pushed uh, the case down to the District Court and said it will wait for a more for a more comprehensive record. Sorry, I just woke up not good at reading at the moment. Justice Samuel Alito and Clarence Thomas, who are historically against abortion rights, dissented. Justice Alito questioned the lower court's logic that the FDA's rule posed a risk to COVID-19 exposure if other activities in the state uh, were, so which have since reopened, did not. The judge, apparently, was not troubled by the fact those responsible for public health in Maryland thought, thought it safe for women and men to leave the house and engage in numerous activities that present at least a much, as much risk as visiting a clinic, such as indoor restaurant dining, visiting hair saloons, barber shops, all sorts of retail gyms and um, other indoor exercise facilities, nail saloons, youth sports events, and of course the state's casinos. Yeah, where you gamble and steal people's money. Gambling is very, very wicked. Uh, the case, Food and Drug Administration versus American College of Obstetricians and genealogist, hope I'm saying that right, considers the FDA's long-standing rule as at the outlet of the coronavirus pandemic, ACOG, a professional medical organization that represents 90% of physicians in the field, requested that FDA lift the requirement, arguing that not only was the in-person requirement medically unnecessary, but in the context of COVID-19, the COVID-19 pandemic, it placed patients and medical staff at risk of exposure to the virus. You know, um, when the FDA refused, ACOG sued. In July, a federal judge agreed agreed granting a group preliminary injunction that temporarily suspended the FDA's in-person rule. In his his decision, Judge Theodore Chan, hope I'm saying that right wrote that the regulation in the context of a pandemic presented a serious burden to many abortion patients. The Trump administration appealed and in August, an appellate court unanimously declined the administration's request to reverse the lower court's decision. Two weeks later, the Trump administration went to the Supreme Court asking for it to block the lower court's orders. The rule will remain suspended in, at the least until the district court reviews the government's request to reinstate the regulation, which the Supreme Court asked to do, asked it, asked it do, within 40 days. It's a relief that for the next few weeks, at least, sorry, just gonna, for the next few weeks at least, the Trump administration cannot force patients who need early abortion to needlessly risk contracting a life-threatening disease as a condition of obtaining care. Yeah, the whole uh, COVID thing is a Jesuit scam. But uh, said Julia Kai, an attorney with the American Civil Liberties Union uh, and lead counsel challenging the FDA's regulation in a statement emailed to CBS News on Thursday. A spokesperson for the FDA, sorry, I think I pressed the wrong button, uh, for the FDA did not immediately respond for a, to a request for comment. Use of uh, medication has steadily increased 
since it was first approved by the FDA in 2000, and it now accounts for nearly 39% of all abortions in the United States. According to data from the Gutmacher Institute, a research organization that supports abortion rights, when used uh, within the first nine weeks of pregnancy, medication abortion works as directed 99.6% of the time and it has a 0.4% rate of major complications and an associated mortality rate of less than 0.001% according to a data compiled by the Kaiser Family Foundation. Hmm. Sure. Multiple medical professional groups voiced their support for ACOG's request to suspend the in-person pill delivery requirement. And, you know, it goes down there. An amicus brief filed the Supreme Court. Attorneys representing 18 such groups, including the American Medical Association, wrote that medication abortion is a, quote, safe and effective treatment. And that the government's, it's the government's job not to turn not the government's job is not to turn back the clock on the medical practice, let alone the global global pandemic. Senator Ted Ted Cruz and 19 other Republican senators last month called on the lower court's decision in the case rogue activism and applauded the FDA's zealous fight FDA's zealous fight to maintain regulations amid the coronavirus pandemic. In a letter to the FDA, the conservative lawmakers also called. For for the agency to remove the abortion pill from the U.S. market entirely, writing that a pregnancy is not a life-threatening illness. The common uh, riled women's rights groups, you know, rights, abortion is not a right, who know that the United States maternal mortality rate is among the highest developed, or is among the highest of developed countries. Totally disgusting. Uh, Turn to reverse the scripture on this. I believe it's Isaiah 59, verse 7. Because, you know, the uh, liberal Democratic Supreme Court is just, you know, here it is, Isaiah 59, verse 7. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, wasting destruction, and wasting and destruction are in their paths. You know, perfect description. They're, they're haste to, they make haste to shed innocent blood. The, sh- the killing of babies is innocent blood, shedding innocent blood. And the the uh, cult of social liberalism is shedding innocent blood. They got blood on their hands of children. So I, I just find this, you know, disgusting. Again, not a supporter of Trump, but the pro-abortionist, pro-murder Supreme Court is just doing everything they can to um, give people the so-called right to kill babies. So yeah, don't be, don't, don't, uh, don't be deceived by all this stuff. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.